Hello P6, welcome to Monday's numeracy lesson. For your warm up today, we're going to think about adding. So go and download uh, one of the next door numbers warm up um, activities. There are two levels to choose from. And don't forget that what you need to do is add the two next door numbers together, write the answer in the circle above, and then try and work your way all the way up to the top spot. The answers are there for you to download as well if you need them. And there's also a 100 square. For our main activity today, we're going to go back to thinking all about telling the time. Now, last week we were looking at telling the time and we were practicing adding on time. Well, for today's activity, we are going to think about taking away time, counting back in time. And to help you out, I'd like you to go and find in the Top Marks website their teaching clock. So click on the link that's in, um, it's on the website. And we're going to use this teaching clock to help us out today. Because today we're going to practice taking away time. We're going to count back in time. So for example, let's set our clock and let's set our clock for half past three, 3.30 3 p.m. So I'm going to add on one hour and I'm going to add on a few more minutes and I'm going to set my clock for half past three. So my clock at the minute says 3.30 p.m. Now don't forget with this uh, clock that you've got, you can set the clock so you're showing analog, you can set the clock so you're showing it as a 12 hour clock, and you can also change it into 24 hour clock. But for today's activity, it's probably best to start off with it in uh, analog clock. So I've got the time 3.30 p.m. and I want to know what time it would have been one hour before that, one hour earlier. Well, what's going to change? Well, if I take away one hour from 3.30, what does my new time say? Well, the new time says the hour is two. The minutes, the longer hand, is pointing at the six, so it's still 30. And I haven't crossed the 12 o'clock, so I'm still in a p.m. time. 3.30 p.m. Take away one hour becomes 2.30 p.m. Now, what stayed the same? Well, the minutes have stayed the same. Because I was looking at taking away one hour, it didn't affect the minutes. 30 stayed as 30. The p.m. stayed as p.m. because I didn't cross 12 o'clock but it was the R that changed. Three hours, take away one hour, becomes two. So 3.30 p.m., one hour earlier than that became 2.30 p.m. Let's change the time to 2.15, so I'm gonna make it 2.15 p.m. Now, what time would it be three hours before 2.15? Well, let's find out. So if we take away one hour, it's gonna become 1.15. Take away another hour, 12.15, take away another hour, take away three hours altogether. What does our new time show us, P6? Yeah, it's going to be 11.15, but we've crossed the 12. So because we crossed 12 o'clock, we're not in p.m. anymore, we're in a.m. times. Again, what stayed the same? We were looking at hours, so the minutes didn't actually change. The 15 stayed as 15. The hours have changed. The two o'clock, when we counted back, became one o'clock, 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock. So when we counted back three hours, the two became 11. And what's changed also, as we've just said, the PM became AM and it became AM because we crossed the 12 o'clock. So sometimes when I'm counting back, I might be counting back in hours. Sometimes I might be counting back in minutes. Let's make the time into 11.45. So there's 11.45 a.m. And this time I'm not going to take away hours. I'm going to take away some minutes. What time would it be 20 minutes earlier than 11.45 a.m.? Well, at the minute, 11.45, let's take away We'll take out in groups of five, so take away five, 10, 15, 20 minutes. What does that time say, P6? Well, the R is 11. The last R we went past is 11. The minutes, we're pointing at the five, so that's 25 past. D 
Did we cross the 12 o'clock as we were doing that? No, we didn't. So we were in AM times, we're still in AM times. So 11.45, take away 20 minutes, has become 11.25. What stayed the same? The R has stayed the same. We haven't swapped into a different R. The AM has stayed the same, but it was the 20 being taken away from the 45. 45 take away 20 becomes 25. So our new time is 11.25 AM. This one's a little bit trickier. Will we have a go at this one? Let's make the time 11.05. So five past 11. So there's 11.05. And this time I want to take away 40 minutes. Now to take away those 40 minutes, I'm, I'm going to end up crossing the R. So let's do it. So let's take away five minutes, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 11.05, take away 40 minutes. What does my new time say? Well, the R, Look at the last hour we went past. The last hour we went past was 10. How many minutes after 10? 25. And I'm still in AM because I didn't cross 12 o'clock. So in this one, the R has changed as well as the minutes. And the R has changed because we had to cross the 12 o'clock. Now, we could think about that one in a slightly different way, okay? So we could take that 11.05 and I wanted to all together take away 40 minutes and see what time I ended up at. Now, instead of trying to take away the 40 minutes all in one go, what we could do is we could say, well, what's the hour? Let's go back to the time we were at. So let's go back to that 11.05. Oh, too far, Mrs. Bell. There we go. So 11.05, and we're going to take away that 40 minutes. What we find was if we took away five minutes, that brought me back to 11 o'clock. But altogether, I need to take away 40 minutes. So if I've taken away five minutes, how many more minutes do I still need to take away? I still need to take away another 35 minutes. So if I took away 30 minutes, that would get me to 10.30. Take away another five minutes, then that would get me to 10.25. So if I'm crossing the R, it's a good idea to break it down into smaller parts. Get to the o'clock, and then keep going after that. Now, okay, six, for your activity today, you're gonna to choose one of two written activities. So if you choose to do uh, the higher level task, then you're looking at this page. You're thinking about a TV studio, and in the TV studio, there are lots of different things that are being filmed. It starts off with a sports schedule, we can't see what time the activities start at, the sports start at, but we know how long they're filmed for and we know what time they finish at. So if the football finishes at 4.45 p.m., it started two hours earlier, can you work out what time it started at? In part two, you've got some presenters of the TV programmes. They need to get their makeup done before they start filming. So can you work out at what time they had to be with the makeup artist. Then you've got an activity where you have to count back in hours and in minutes and the same in your final part. So that's the higher level activity for today. If you choose to do the one that's a little bit easier, then you're thinking about playing some computer games for today's activity. And again, you're told what time the, uh, the game the player finishes at, how long they've played for. So can you work out what time they started playing? Then in this one, again, can you work out the starting players for the starting times for these players and similar activity down at the bottom of the page. Today, you're counting back, okay? So we are taking away time. So as we do it, you're taking away, it might be taking away hours. 
It could be taking away minutes. Sometimes it could even be that you have to take away hours and then you also have to take away some minutes. Using the teaching clock P6 from Top Marks will really, really help you out. Once you have got your written activity done, then I would suggest going uh, back to uh, our P6 Home Learning page. And from there, there is an activity for you, a game for you to go and play called uh, Telling the Time. It's on Maths Frame. So go and have a go at that game as well. You've also got a reasoning activity for today, which is all about uh, subtraction and you're working out missing digits. And then finally, why don't you spend a little bit of time on Prodigy today and see how well you can get on with Prodigy. Good luck.